guys, it's your boy Fabian back again with another video. It's time for another national anthem reaction and today we are checking out the national anthem of Denmark. So we're checking out the Danish national anthem and it's called Der er et in land. Probably got that completely wrong. It's called De, De, let me say that again. It means there is a lovely country. So yeah, we're checking this out, but before we check it out, make sure you subscribe down below, press the bell notification button down below so you can be the first to know when I upload. Check out my channel because there's something there for everyone and keep an eye out because there's a lot of national anthem reactions on there. So let's stop talking and crack on. The national anthem of Denmark, let's go. Do you know what I find interesting about some of these national anthems, right? Like, near the salty eastern beach, like, it's, it's so detailed with some of the stuff they say. Instead of just saying, near the eastern beach, yeah, the salty eastern, like, do you know what I mean? Just that salty, like, you wouldn't think it would be in, like, a national anthem, because that national anthems tend to be, like, really, like, we're the best, like, we're going to go to war, we're going to fight, do you know what I mean? So when you hear, like, descriptive words like that, yeah, man, nice touch. Okay, so the vibe I've got from this one, there's been a few national anthems like this. It feels a little bit like church choir, like they've gone down that vibe. And um, there's not much music with this one, it just feels very like, yeah, church choir. Like you need a lot of people like with you to be singing this one. So yeah, that's the vibe I've got with this one. <laughs> Do you know what I find interesting about like Danish, right? So obviously, um, look, it says they're sat in former times, but when you read Danish, yeah, like even if you don't like speak the language, can't like, like don't know how to write it, read it, whatever, right? If I read they're sad, e for them tid, I could probably guess what they're trying to say because look, they're they're sat sad in e former for them, like. Okay, maybe if I didn't read it in English, you probably wouldn't get it, but it's close enough. Okay, then the next part of it, like, you would not know that it says the armor-suited warriors, like, the harness glued the grumper. I don't know if I said that right or wrong. This kind of national anthem because when you read it so they approach their foes whose bones now rest when you hear words and lyrics like that and it's being sung in this way i don't know man like it's it's, it's a little bit eerie like do you know what i mean like it, and when i say eerie i don't mean that necessarily in a bad way here you get me like that just it just feels like like some, it feels grand you get me like like it's like bone chilling <laughs> Behind the mounds, monoliths. Uh, not many uh, national anthems say monoliths. What a word. And noble women, beautiful maidens, and strong men, young and old. I like that, you know, because normally when you um, got national anthems, they talk about like the men, obviously, because the, the, the men have always like gone to war and fought for the country. But they've spoken about the noble women, beautiful maidens. Listen, everyone's part of it. You get me? So yeah, nice to be talking about everyone. <laughs> Our 
language is strong and soft, our faith is pure and refined. Now that is an elite line. I like that. You don't really get our faith is pure and refined. Top stuff. <laughs> Tell you what though, this is a very very tough uh, national anthem to remember because there's not much that's um, repetitive like that you can like focus on that you can lift. Once I leave this for example in about six months time, what was the Danish national anthem? I'm not gonna remember any part of it to to, to like sing, you get me? Like there's nothing that um, that's repetitive constantly that you can remember. So learning this one, very tough. Oh, guys that's it for checking out the national anthem of Denmark and for me um, the thing I took away from this one look nice national anthem just I don't like tough national anthem to um, to pick up honestly like uh, the language is not easy in itself but then like there wasn't any parts that were repetitive or repeated constantly like a chorus let's just call it that you can Remember it was that so nice national anthem, but tough, but that's it for the video guys I'm gonna wrap things up. Thanks for watching make sure you like share subscribe comment below with some more suggestions I'll try to check out for you guys as always, but I'm gonna have to love you and leave you So thanks for watching keep yourself safe out there. Have a good day. Have a good evening and until next time guys I hope you have a good one